Basically, when you're trying to cartoon your ads, um, I have actually seen this is 2019 and this is December. Okay, I can still say that basically the, the most common animation apps that you can actually use for your cartoons and your animation. I would see them as two sets. Okay, one set are those ones that you can actually use on your desktop preferably okay you're going to pay for these apps this set of apps and then some of them are totally doodly your bankable okay um but to me my preferable one is actually and always biting because i used to see that's a kind of source of several other things that i'm still going to talk about and the second thing, the second set of apps for animation are those ones that you can actually use for um, yourself without necessarily paying. Okay, most of the features you can use without necessarily paying. The first one being Kind Master. You might not pay, but and if you're gonna pay, you're gonna pay. Just leave. Okay, and then the second app is. Um, your Twintastic, but I'm having issues with Twintastic because I've never really been seeing it being used um, for things other than just telling stories. And I've not really been seeing, you know, marketers, online marketers using it to tell stories. Okay, but the most interesting one that I've actually come across that I really see that is really moving the market, and I, people are really using it to create commercials even on YouTube and they are even really using it to create as much as two hours feeds. We we'll say is plus a good story.
your computer voice okay voicing at the initial stage when you're trying to produce on political story okay and um, when you get back to the kind of master you can always live since most of your readings of your characters okay live since then like you can do it on even kind of master mm? live since then and um, make it a kind of language that your audience can relate with